Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for dropping by. Today, it's Sunday, it's the 16th of May, and this is a brand new episode in the Streets of Blackpool series. Today, I am on Talbot Road, and I've been promising to do this one for a while. And finally, today's the day when you're gonna to get to see it. So let's take a look around Talbot Square. We've got the Ibis there, which is strictly speaking on Corporation Street and not Talbot Road. But there is the Ibis, there is the Town Hall, there is the new Premier Inn, here is the Counting House. I'm going to swing all the way round so you can see the rest of Talbot Square and the Promenade. There's the Metropole Hotel, Beach and Promenade, North Pier, back past the Ibis, which is actually on Clifton Street and not Talbot Road because that side is Clifton Street which runs up there and Clifton Street is already on the streets of Blackpool series but we are doing Talbot Road today so we're going that way before we head on up Talbot Road let's take another good look at these beautiful tram benches I have filmed these before, lots of people have filmed and photographed these but they are worth filming and photographing because they are really beautiful but let's head on up here to the left there is the Strand that runs on to Queen Street and Queen Square and the Strand is already on the Streets of Blackpool series there we can see the new Premier Inn the Cook House and Pub three piers on the corner that stands where the icon that Yates's Wine Lodge used to stand which was sadly lost in a fire there we have got the Triology Nightclub that used to be Rumours on the ground floor but the above floor was Jenks's Jenks's is a little bit before my time I did go in once or twice but I was very young when I went in Jenks's Anyway, onwards down Talbot Road. I think I'm going to cross over and film from the other side. Because we can see these buildings so much better. The little black pug. And there's the church, Sacred Heart, Roman Catholic Church. Walking past the Premier Inn now from this side. And I am just going to continue walking up the road. Connect Blackpool by Young People Services. That was Citizens Advice Bureau for a while, and before that, it was a bank. My memory of Talbot Road though isn't super good. I remember some of the old shops but not many. I remember that was Jessup's photo 
services, camera shop, photography equipment. I did ask on my former video what this shop used to be, but nobody could remember. I can't remember. The Zilch shop, that was Basin's toy shop. I did actually remember that one. But, yeah, my Talbot Road memory, since this good as my central drive memory. If we look up there, we can see the tram tracks heading off towards the old Wilco site which will be the new tram hub and hotel when it's finished. I am going to take a look in there through the gate as I walk past. Got home bargains there, that used to be Woolworths. And on this side I pretty much cannot remember anything the shops were. I just remember Bargain Hunters. Which was Bargain Hunters? It was that one there that says Pepe's now. Pepe's? Pepe's? Yeah that used to be Bargain Hunters and it was a little eclectic Aladdin's cave of so many different things. Lots and lots and lots of different things you could buy there. And we're going to get across this road now, then we can have a peep in a little go up bus. We can have a peep in the Wilco site now I'm across the road. So let's just have a quick pan around that site. There's nobody on site today because it's early Sunday morning, but if I move the camera all the way across, you can get a pretty good view of the entire site. Once work really starts up properly, I will start an actual series of the phase two developments. Or it might even be phase three. I'm not sure. But whenever where it starts, I will start a new series. I hope to follow all the big developments that are going on. I am working six days a week though, so I won't be filming at any of these sites daily. I just have certain days when I can film. I think I might peep through that top gate. I mean, ordinarily I wouldn't do that because there's no pavement or anything, but there's next to no traffic about. So let's take a look, folks. This definitely feels very strange walking across here. Looking down there is Cookson Street, everybody, not Topping Street, Cookson Street. But I'm here to peek through there. Give you guys a better view of sight from this side. That's a much better view, isn't it? What do you think of that? That's better. Let me just make sure that I'm not going to walk into the path of traffic. I'm on the island now in the middle, by the way. The road markings here, there 
Well, they're not exactly confusing, but they're not super clear either. So now let's just head on down further along Talbot Road. You can see Sainsbury's there. That's a great view of Sainsbury's. That street is High Street and that's where Wilco's used to stand and now you can just see the blue fence. There's no building. Here is North Station. Virtually empty. Can't see any trains, any taxis or anything. And now, just walking alongside this wall which runs down North Station, you can see Sainsbury's there, impressive big glass building, look at that. And it's quiet, it's really really quiet. Definitely a good day for a walk and a vlog. Into Sainsbury's car park. And on the next block is the Ramsden Arms or the Rammy, as we used to call it back in the day. And this wall drops lower now, so as I walk past this dip in the wall, I raise my camera up and stretch up, you can see North Station with its new electric overheads, which I did record I recorded them being put in. I did the whole series of North Station being modified, revamped, whatever you want to call it, rebuilt. I've got a video of all the platforms being built and videos of all the overheads going up. It's a long old series. There is the Talbot Road car wash. Off to the right there is Whiteside Street. That's a small street. Very small street, some residential apartments there. We've got the Sainsbury's garage on this side. There we can get a good view of those electric overheads. And off to the right there is Elizabeth Street. You can see Elizabeth Street running down there all the way to Church Street. I go to bus. That is the new road in. Talbot trade supplies and just walking further along we can see Edelston Road running off Talbot Road short street little tiny street bathroom warehouses 
And here we've got the side of the station again and the Mecca Bingo. There's, looks like a closed property. Oh, it says unit stilette. So it's stilette. Off to the right there is Gorton Street. to the left running down past the station and the Savoy timber supplies along and alongside the Mecca is Thomas Street to the left we've got a garage a shell garage to the right there We've got Victory Road. Starts off very narrow, gets a little bit wider as you walk down. And the sun's in my eyes. Ah, go away sun. I don't actually want the sun to go away. I just don't want it shining brightly in my eyes. Another short street there, that is Hardman Street. Another short one. And over on the left there, that is Cecil Street. Runs all the way down there and alongside North Station tracks. That is Green Hill Place and now we've just got a load of flats and new houses and the sun's still in my eyes and it just climbs a little bit higher in the sky To the right there is Henthorne Street. And we've got all those new houses there. and coming up to on the right is Coleridge Road that runs alongside the back of the old Devonshire Road Hospital and now the hospital's gone it's just an empty site is Spencer Court. My nan had a little flat on there many many years ago when it was fairly new. I mean it wasn't super new but it was fairly new and my nan got a little flat up there. That's the old hospital site. Again I have filmed that before. I've got a couple of videos of the old site.
and we're almost at Devonshire Road now so I am going to finish this part of this Talbot Road video here and in the next part I'll do the bottom half and through Leighton that is Cooper's Way down there to the left nice bit of spare grass there And we can see the old empty hospital site. I do find it odd that nothing's been built on there because it is kind of prime residential building land, isn't it? Anyway, time to wrap this one up now as we head on to Devonshire Road. So thank you so much for watching please hit the like button and please subscribe if you're not subscribed already and yeah I will see you all very soon in the next part which will be onwards from here and towards Leighton but for now bye